In this video, I want to talk about how to manage uh, fiscal dates and fiscal uh, time periods in Microsoft Access. Uh, here's a normal query, pretty simple query. Uh, when I run it, you can see that the, um, the dates are going to sort in normal order, normal calendar order. But we really want to make this be sorted in fiscal year order or fiscal period order. So I'm going to go back to design view. So I'm going to make a couple fields here. In fact, let me save this query. And I'm going to call it uh, orders with a fiscal with fiscal dates. Now, let's say the fiscal period starts in October. So October would be the first uh, fiscal month. So we're going to um, have a new column over here that will just be called the month num. I'll go into the express, uh, expression builder. We call the field month num, and I'm going to take the month of the regular date. Now, let's see what that gives us. This is going to give us the actual month number from the date. So if it's October, then the month number will be 10. If it's uh, February, then the month number will be 2. So that isolates the month number. Let me save the query again. Now from that, I can do some things. So next I'm going to have a column that's called fiscal year. And the fiscal year is going to be an if. Of course, an access to if is IIF open parentheses. If that n month number is less than 10, if it's 1 through 9, then what we're going to do with that is we're going to keep the same year as the actual uh, date. On the other hand, if the month number is 10 or 11 or 12, we're going to take the year from the date and add 1 to it. So the whole formula says fiscal year colon IIF open parentheses month num less than 10 comma year open parentheses order date close parentheses comma year open parentheses order date close parentheses plus one close parentheses. What that really means is uh, we're going to take a look at the, the normal month number. If it's less than 10, we're going to keep the normal year. Otherwise, if it's 10, 11, or 12, we're going to add 1 to the year because that will be the beginning of the next fiscal year. So I'll click on OK. Let's see what that did for us. I'll show you uh, when we go down, if I scroll down to uh, right over here. You can see the actual date is 1998, but I may have the fiscal year of 1999 because the month is 10. So again, I'm assuming that the fiscal uh, year starts in the 10th month, but you, this will work for any time that you have your, any, any date where you have your fiscal month start. Now, I'm going to save that again, and then we'll do one that would be the fiscal, um, the fiscal month. So I'm going to call this fiscal month. Now, in this case, we're going to say if the month num is less than 10, comma, then take the month num <coughs> plus 3, comma, otherwise we're going to say month num minus 9. All right, so the whole fo uh, formula says fiscal underscore month colon IIF open parentheses month num less than 10, comma, month num plus 3, comma, month num minus 9, close parentheses. So what this is saying is, if the month is, for, if the normal month is from 1 to 9, we're going to add 3 to that number to get the new fiscal month. Otherwise, we're going to subtract 9 from it if it's 10, 11, or 12. And let's see what that does for us. I'm going to click on our run. You see, if we go down to those uh, dates that were for October, you'll really see it. Yeah, see, for those ones that were October 1998, the fiscal year became 1999, but the fiscal month became 1. So now I have what I need. I'm going to close that window, and we're going to save that query. 
What you would then do is take that query into another query so we can sort it properly. I'm going to pick on query design, and then I'm going to use that query that was just made. It was called orders uh, with a fiscal D. Now, in this case, I can pick all of those fields. That's fine. But more importantly, we want to have the proper sort order. So I'm going to pick the fiscal month, the fiscal month, I mean the fiscal year, the fiscal month, and the order date. And we don't have to show those fields because I already selected all those over here. Uh, but we are going to sort on those fields. See, I'm going to sort ascending first by the fiscal year, then the fiscal month, and then the actual order date. Let's see what this does for us. All right, so let's scroll down. Now, in this case, uh, notice how it's going to start the fiscal year. And then you'll be able to sort those, you see. So those come before the ones for uh, the next year. So then you can base your reports and things on the fiscal month and the fiscal year and sort on those fields or do queries in those kind of fields and that kind of thing. And that's going to help you manage your fiscal data here in Microsoft Access. I'm going to close that window. In this case, I can save that. And I can say sort it by fiscal year. All right, so that really is how, uh, at least that's one way to handle your fiscal dates in Microsoft Access.